All right, let's get back to the business. <coughs> How is it going, Drowsy? Can you do something? Oh, you two. Watch gosh for gosh with a brand new paper boy. Oh, you, you two. I want you two to get stocked up for an exploration. When you're all ready, I'll send you out for an exploration of the Zero's Dream. What? You, that, so that means... You guessed it! It is possible to get into a Zero's Dream. Yes. Meryl, we can tackle the mystery of the ending nightmare now. Great. But I want you two to be extra careful when you're inside this kid's dream. Hmm, there's something rotten about this dream. I feel like it's something that's gone bad. Or something could have gone wrong. Uh, is that right? Okay, we'll be careful. One more thing. I want only you two to enter the dream. I prefer to go as well, but... Now, on see my skill level, I think you slow down too much. Sorry I couldn't do much more for you, but... No, you're great. Just sending us into the dream is plenty. Thank you, Drowsy. We'll get ready to go. Let's get moving. We'll come back when we're ready. So, yeah. Welcome. What I miss, one the same. Getting a sip of water, draft her on in here. Back for more of this series. Since I can't think of anything else to play on the channel, let alone post on the channel, for that matter. <coughs> Last time we went it through Mount Travail, trying to find the old geezer, uh, his drowsy. Yeah, drowsy. I, how did I forget his name? He, we we just saw it. I don't know, but this time we are going to get ourselves prepared for going into Zool's dream, because by starting off. Opening up the boxes. Okay. Uh. Tell you what. I'll see you all. I'm all done preparing. See you then. <coughs> okay, we're all set. Ready to go into the upcoming dungeon, I guess. The Nightmare. I think it's called the Zuril's Nightmare. I don't actually remember the name specifically, but I will get to the dungeon sp specifics once we're inside. Oh, are you two ready for... Oh, gosh, gosh. Are you two ready to go into the dream? Ready. Yep, everything's ready. Good. Come over here. Mm. I'm going to send you into a zero dream. Here it goes. Is this inside the dream? Kitsy Claudio! Can you hear me? It's me, Drowsy. Yep, we hear you. Good. Sounds like you're safe in the inside, and as I said before, there's something very bad in this dream. I don't think I need to remind you, but be careful in there. We wouldn't want you to get to hurt or I, I, I lost it. I dropped it. Whatever. Welcome to Azuril's Nightmare, or simply put, the Nightmare. This dungeon has a lot of Pokémon that I would say are, I guess, somewhat dream-related to some degree. I mean, you'll find Psychic types and Normal types. That's pretty much it. Uh, there's... I mean, some of the Pokémon are pretty alright. There's more so annoying Pokémon in here, like Mill Tank, which get Heal Bell and Milk Drink, which they're very, very rough. I had an incident er later on in this recording where, uh, well, I guess I should give some context. The move Milk Drink in Pokémon Mystery Dungeon games heals all the, all, all I guess Pokémon on the. I guess on one side. I guess if it's a, for example, if you have a team member being a mill tank that knows milk drink, and she uses it, it will heal every party, all party members, regardless if they're nearby or not. 
And same goes for enemy mill tanks, only with enemy Pokémon. I guess I should also mention, there, there's the Pokémon Blissey that spawn in this dungeon every now and again. Blissey, much like in the main series games, gives a lot of EXP when defeated. So be on the lookout for one of those. One of them if you want to make sure you can have the possibility of leveling up. Ugh, sticky trap. I decided to conserve on my cleanse orb. I don't think I ever actually used it, but yeah, you know, Blitzy are very good EXP cows. Like the fact that they gave over a thousand at one t time is amazing. Then there's also the fact that got there's a lot of traps in here. I guess more than your. I guess it's pretty typical for late game dungeons. I'm just gonna throw this blinker seed at Persian. So that will blind him, and he will. Uh, he can only move forward or attack whatever's on in front of him when he can't move forward from there on. And then I might as well just use the max elixir up four of them. So th there's just a lot of tricky, different Pokemon in here that can. You know, and then there's Wobbuffet. With th their move Destiny Bond, it works a little differently than in the main series games. When in the Pokemon, in, at least in this game, goes for it, when it, you have the Destiny Bond status inflicted onto you, you basically take as much every damage they take, you will take. So you until they're fainted, and then otherwise, then you're fine. But at that point, it, which is different from. It, Destiny bond, Destiny bond normally because where it if you get knocked out they take if they get knocked out you get taken down with them. I decided to eat pure seed just to get things moving faster. Uh, yeah, this uh, uh, twelve floors in we finally see a Pokemon that I think is very fitting for this dungeon being Grumpig. Which is certainly something. Got a heavy box. I guess it's stream treasure. Oh dear, here's the mill tank. We bite, it captivates, it fails, I drain punch it. Lives somehow. Uses milk drink and not only restores its HP, but tries to heal the like with Jigglypuff and Clefairies and probably another mill tanks. HP as well, that are just all other enemies on the floor. So it's kind of crazy. Let's see. A Pounce Orb. Hey, want to see some next-gen strats? Pounce Orb. Get me there. Roll Call Orb. Summon my partner. She can be in front of me to take the hits from the Espeon. And I can quick attack it. Done. You're gone. Something I've been trying to do a lot with Wobbuffets is just warp them away before they can be too much of a hassle to deal with, because, again, they're Wobbuffets and everything. Oh, got Destiny Bonded. Warp, warp, go away. If only it was that simple, because he came back, and I don't know if it's the same one, so I'm just going to warp both you and you away. Oh, but we're not out of the woods yet. Here he is. Uh, and I decide to, since I have two petrify orbs, not even going to fuck with it. Not even going to fuck with it. Otherwise, this dungeon is pretty tricky. Okay, almost at the end. Ugh. Excuse me, I gotta get my... My nose is a bit nasally. <laughs> Voice is a bit nasally, as I should say. Um, get some water. I wanna see what this orb is. Switch your orb. Okay, anyways. Nightmare Depths. We come a long way here, Claudio. It appears as if it's just one long path from here. Let's keep going some more. 
Ah, oh, what's happening? You? How did you get here? That was a weird voice. There's someone here, Claudio. Who was? Who is it? Who are you? Show yourself. I am. Huh? What? You? You? Your? I am Chrysalia. Chrysalia. It's Chrysalia, the one from my dreams. I cannot fathom how you've got come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. I've met long to meet the both of you. Cr Chrysalia, how? So in my dreams, they weren't just ordinary dreams after all. <coughs> what? When I saw, then when I saw, then what I saw in my dreams? Yes, what I told you in your dreams is true. You are not supposed to exist in this world. What? You too? I suspected this. I, s I that you were having the same dreams, Claudio. I went to the future, and then I came back to this world, and then it caused the destruction of this world. So Cresselia said. So Cresselia said in my dreams. So it wasn't just me who had those dreams. And Kitsy, you know, and Kitsy is the same as I am. Kitsy is another presence in this world that must not exist. Cresselia said that to Kitsy too. Say, Cresselia, could you explain something? I traveled to the future and came back again. And Claudio was a human who came from the future. You said that we're causing distortion in the fabric of space in our world. If that space becomes distorted, why will it? The world. Why will the world be destroyed? If the world's distortion of fabric uh, of space expands, the power of darkness will expand as well. Eventually, the world will become enveloped in a nightmare. Enveloped within a nightmare? Yes. You know how we are at... S you know where we are at this very moment. <coughs> well, we're in a zoo stream, aren't we? I got a massage my nose. <laughs> That is correct. More precisely, we are in Azuril's nightmare. Azuril will remain trapped in the nightmare, never to wake up again. This nightmare will eventually creep across the world. For now, only Azuril is afflicted with this nightmare. But soon other Pokemon will be drawn by the nightmare's winding web. And more and more Pokemon will fall into an unending sleep. And, and, and ultimately, all Pokemon will be locked in the nightmare without end. All Pokemon? That's it. Worth a drink. Hey, Chris. Hey, me, 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 me. Hey, Chrysalia. What will it take to get rid of the distortion of fabric of space? How can the base distortion be eliminated? There is but one way to eliminate the distortion. That is to for you to disappear. What? What? Disappear us? I have been waiting for this opportunity. This the opportunity to make you disappear. What? what? Wait, wait a second. We don't want to disappear. We want to know more about what's happening. So you would rather see it all Pokemon be swallowed up by the nightmare? That That's not, that's not what I want. Cr Cresselia, is this really true? If we disappear, will the world really be saved? Yes, it will be saved. For your existence is driving the world to ruin. I'm so very sorry, but I must do this. Prepare to disappear. It must be done. The world must be saved. Uh. Hey! Hello, Claudio? Kitsy? Where are you? Mm, I got some popsicles around here. Uh, interrupted. My work will here was nearly finished. I, I will interrupt it this time. But I will see to it that you two disappear. Of course, if you wish to save the world that you are that on your own, you should consider making yourselves disappear first. Farewell. Whew, that that was close. Hey, so there you are. I was looking all over. D Drowsy, how did why did you come? You two were taking so long back. Took so long to come back, I got worried. Mm, I decided to be brave and come looking for you. There's something dangerous about this place. We shouldn't stay here. 
Let's go back to the guild for the time being. Save the game and we'll we'll keep going a bit. I I'm gonna need some water for this bit of dialogue. I see. So you so you encountered Cresselia, and she said that Azuril's nightmare is caused by the distortion of fabric of space. Yep. And if nothing's done about it, all Pokemon will join Azuril in an unending sleep. Is that what Cresselia said? Yep. If this is all true, how terrible! To, this is terrible to be sure. We've got to do something. So, Chana. What do you know about Cresselia? I know of the Pokemon, but only from rumors. They'll say Cresselia appears only during the night of the quarter moon. It also said that the Pokemon can heal others' emotional scars simply with the gentle light of her body. Ugh, she didn't seem that kindly. There's one more thing about Cresselia. This Pokemon has possessed a mystical power that can banish darkness. The power to banish darkness? Hey, hey, so let's get this straight. If we don't do something, all the Pokemon in this world are going to be as fall asleep forever. Hey, hey, that means you'll have to do something to fix up this space distortion. Hey, Kiyotsi. Did Cresselia say something about having it, though how the distortion could be stopped? Uh, 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 how to stop the distortion of space? Uh, why are you so jumpy? Did I ask something weird? No, it, it's not anything you said as much as it's your tone of voice, but I'm sorry, I, I was thinking about something else. So, uh, the way to stop the distortion of space. Hmm, no, I don't remember Cresselia saying a single thing about that. Ah, I see. That is unfortunate. Well, anyway, it looks like the distortion of the space together. Let's look into the distortion of space together. If we don't, you won't. We won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading. Chat on. Ah, yes, Guildmaster. All right, everyone. Watch the band for today, and turn tomorrow. You will in that individually investigate the distortion of space itself. Yep, yep. Will do. All right. Dismissed. That was. A Chat with a southern accent in that bit, last bit of the line. <sighs> when we got, got back to the guild, Drowsy asked us if we how we this the if we knew this how the distortion of space could be stopped. I lied. I didn't think twice about it. Anyways, there is no way to stop the distortion. We have to disappear from the world to do it. How how can I say about that? But. Should I have told everyone? Is this the right th thing to do? Hey, Claudio, what are we supposed to do now? If we disappear, will the world be saved? In that case, maybe it's the best thing to do. K Kitsy. Alright, I've had enough. I'm feeling drained from this all this worrying. Let's go s get some sleep, Claudio. Here comes one of my favorite scenes from the entire game. Ugh, can't sleep. Kitsy is already asleep, I guess. Well, I have to wonder. I understand that we're causing a distortion of space, but how that leads to the world's ruin, I still can't believe it. I thought it was just merely something that, from the dream that at first time, but with that second dream, and when I was told about the distortion of space, and then I thought that I was start, started thinking maybe it was true. Hey, come to think of it, the morning after I had that dream, Kitsy said to me, "Why are you daydreaming? It's not like you, Claudio. Come on, let's see, see eat, let's see some energy." Kitsy's even peppier than usual, but Kitsy could be right. Kitsy was unusually upbeat then. But Kitsy had just woken from the same dream about Cresselia I had. At that moment, Chris Kitsy must have been acting extra cheerful around me, because Kitsy suspected I had just just had the same dream. 
and try to cheer me up. Kitsy ha had to have been frightened, but sh but she was more concerned about me than in the Zuwal's nightmare. What Cresselia said and what she tried to do, I felt crushed out by that. But but that's why that's why I have to keep my spirit strong. My spirits strong spirits. Now comes my favorite scene of the whole game. Huh? huh? Kitsy isn't here. Maybe outside? So, Claudio? You're awake too, huh? I couldn't sleep at all. Hey, Claudio, can't we be allowed to stay? Can't we stay in this world? We fought when we fought the Algat Temporal Tower. You fought even though you knew you would disappear, Claudio. Because even if you were to disappear, you thought that the, you would save the world. That's why you did it, right? If that's the case. Maybe we should do that th this time, too. Kitsy. It's true, I fought the Alga knowing that I... V very well knowing that I would disappear if I succeeded, but it had to be done to prevent the plan's paralysis. Back then, I was willing to dis disappear if I meant saving the world. If I feel the same this time, too. But this is a... Is this situation really the same? But something feels different th this time around. Oh, Claudio. What, what do you think? Should we really disappear from this world? I don't know. You don't know? But you must be thinking that we all disappear, Claudio. Well then? Something's weird. What's weird? What? You think something's weird? What's is weird? What's weird? Everything Cresselia said. What exactly was on about what Cresselia said? But if we were separately, if we were separately found out that we were causing the st the distortion while at the Loomis Spring too, and if Azuril can't wake up from his nightmare from his distortion, I think we'll be have to believe what we were told. Uh, that's true. But something it's just different about this time around. I know something is different, but what is it? I need to think it carefully. That's it. That's right. This is totally different from before. Back then, with Dialga, my disappearance wasn't really a choice. I've got to explain that to Kitsy. What? It's different this time? What? What's different? What? At Temporal Tower, you were willing to disappear, but it's not the same this time. What? Y you... When you did what you did at the Temporal Tower because you had to. You changed your future because you knew that would lead to the world of peace. But your choice wasn't really th the choice to disappear. But there's no telling what will happen if we disappear. Not this time. So if we don't really know that, if that world, if that will bring peace to the world again, or what you're saying is nothing is about this is certain. That's true. It's true that things aren't completely certain. But... The fact that you were a human who came from the future, Claudio, and I did go to the future and came back to this world, and that it means that because of us, space has started to distort. There's no denying what that we changed history. But that mean that must mean we were what we were told is true. Kids see. Oh, it's sunlight. The sun's coming up. It's beautiful. It's another beautiful dawn. Oh, Claudio. Seeing the sun come up this way makes me remember. I've seen the sun rise here before, from here before, but this isn't the first time. The first time... I was with Grovile. With Grovile? Yep. 
Remember that first time when we came back from the future? We slept here? That's when I saw the sunrise from the, here the first time. I just remembered something about that first time. It's something Grovile asked me. But when all seems lost, you refuse to give up. Even though I had given up, what compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? I didn't give up when we were in trying to escape from the future. I guess Grovile thought I was strange. But that's why Grovile asked me why I couldn't give up. I didn't, but I don't know how to answer. I didn't know how to answer. I didn't know how I managed to stay brave. As I thought about it, I began to realize something. Well, I wonder too. I don't really know. But maybe, maybe it was because Claudio stood by me. Claudio? That was it. I managed to be brave because you were always with me. That's when I finally realized that, and that's why I told Grovile. But just before we lost Grovile in the Hinland... Kitsy! It's up! This is it for me! I'm taking Grovile! Back to the future! Huh? What? what? I can never come back here again. Watch Claudio's back. Promise me! But, but... Take your place, Grovile! I can't! You must and you will! Because you can, Kitsy! You two are... The greatest of combinations. Grovile entrusted me with his last wish. I'm ashamed. Oh, Claudio, if you're not giving up, I won't give up either. Kitsy. There must be something we can do about th this. There must be a way of fixing things without us having to disappear. That's right. That's the kitsy I know. We have to do some keep going, Claudio. Let's find our way out of this. Oh, Claudio, I was just thinking. It was that time about being that time it was that it was that time was being destroyed hey, before, right? And now, with the very fabric of space is becoming distorted, destruction of time and distortion of space, I can't begin to imagine, conceive such things, but these troubles of time and space, I have a feeling they're related. Time and space, a possible connection? Do you remember when time was breaking down? Lapras gave us insight into the temporal tower. So what about the distortion of space? Do you think Lapras might know something about it? Lapras? Well, actually... I wouldn't be unusual if Lapras did know something about this. I knew you'd agree me with me, Claudio. Well, that's that. Let's go see Lapras. Lapras should be at the beach. Let's hurry into the beach. Well, I think that will wait till next episode. I'm sorry, but it's probably for the better that we just call an episode today. Because next episode, oh boy, things are going to heat up. Stay tuned, everyone. Stay woke and stay thirsty. Trapped Ronin, out.